What are we like? Hi guys, so uh, I'm doing 30 days of vlogging uh, as I'm going to uh, Jakarta. And so every day I'm gonna aim to upload one vlog. So say hello everyone to my mom. Hi. Uh, we had Singapore Changi Airport, which as you can see is a very nice airport. Uh, here's my dad. Hi. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, so now we're having breakfast at a coffee club. And I, I, as you guys know, I've given up coffee, so I'm having tea instead. This is a day, this is day 10 of no coffee. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay, it's quite easy actually, once you get used to it. What terminal is this? So we're at terminal three. Is that the newest terminal? No, right? Now there's four and five or something. Four. Oh, there's four, okay. So at Terminal 3, which is sort of like the old school, term, like what Terminal 2 used to be 15 years ago or something. So I'll check in with you guys later in the day. Okay, bye-bye. So here's the food we're getting at the coffee club. Let me just show you guys. So since I've also given up meat, this is a pasta, truffle mushroom pasta. And my dad's having eggs, salmon. <laughs> All right, my mom doesn't want to shoot her. So, croissant, and, uh, salad, tea, tea. One more tea, just the tea, all right. Okay guys, so now we're heading to check-in. Uh, let me show you a little bit about the airport. For those of you who are trying to see Changi Airport, it's pretty fucking awesome. One sec. So this is terminal three in the morning. It's like a mall, those are my parents. Got a bunch of shops, nice check-in rows, many, many rows. That's row five, row three, and then different, different rows along the way. Oh, somebody's hugging. Okay. And then we got a big Snoopy out here. And yeah, it's a pretty nice, huge, modern airport. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> All right guys, so we just cleared immigration and uh, so this is the transit area um, inside. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see the background fully. So it's huge posters and posters and yep. And a very big uh, walking area. So hope you enjoy it. Checking this out and yeah, so it's a carpet floor, which I really like. It gives that luxurious feel without going over the top. I mean, it's not like a, you know, it's not like a, some Victorian rug or something, but it's a very nice soft carpet. You can actually feel the, you know, let me, sh let me show you the carpet. So this is the carpet. It's carpet everywhere. It's amazing. That's my mom walking away. Here's some nice food outlets. More food outlets, Singapore Food Street, Burger King. Yeah, cut out meat, so not going there. I basically remember coming to the airport very excited, very, a few years ago, really sometimes even uptight because I had songs to release or songs to work on. And I was younger, I was about 25 and my mind used to be always buzzing about how am I gonna release this song? How am I gonna, you know, it was all very teenage-like now after this whole covid thing and after all the healing and all that that's gone on on planet earth or at least my healing because i did quite a lot of healing during this time um i feel like i've become a you know a lot more uh, mature and i'm now at the airport in a really peaceful zen like way or that could be just you know because i'm going for work and so this time is uh as uh self-employed you know so when you're self-employed and you kind of know what you're doing and what you're I've sort of figured out what I'm put on earth to do so um, it's a very um, Zen like experience no tension very calm and uh, yeah should be a fun trip guys so today's day one um, it's the 20th I think of of June and I'll check in more later in the day 
And here's a fun sight of a kid rolling around. Check this out. So I'm kind of um, missing my daughter already because she's three. Um, but yeah, should be a fun trip. Get some work done, get some things done. Alrighty guys, take care and see you in the next part. So how do you feel about going to Indonesia? Great. Great? Great. What's so great? It's a lovely feeling to be amongst all my colleagues and that too going with my son. That's great. Oh, yeah. Does that mean I can retire now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. You may. <laughs> okay. So hey guys, so we just cleared the... Uh, the immigration like I told you guys and then we bought something at a shop for I think my mom's colleagues because she works at Jakarta and now we are just looking around at the gates oh there's a plane there's a bird there's a plane oh see there's a plane outside the window and uh, all right let me show you other things so there's a whole bunch of signs so what I love about Changi Airport well there's also a poster but what I love about Changi Airport and just Singapore in general is that um, you can't really go wrong because there's signs friggin everywhere lots of comfort there's like sofas and all sorts of things lots of seating as you can see lots of signs and we got these travelators over here where uh, and they, they're always somehow looking new and very well maintained. So I, I really like that. So you just step on here and move on by. And here there's a lot of planes. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in. So that's the Singapore Airlines logo on the plane that you see. And probably show you guys my plane later as well. So for those of you who are foreigners and you're coming to Singapore for the first time or you are trying to get a sense of what the city is and you came across this vlog. I've lived in Singapore for 34 years and my whole life now. I came here when I was eight months old and now I'm a citizen because I lived here my whole life, did the national service, all of it. I would say, and I've always said this, it's one of the most systematic places to build anything from, whatever whatever realm of your life you're trying to look at. If that's education, if that's relationships, if that's business, if that's recreation, it's very, very systematic. And so that's what I really enjoy. And um, it's a great place to prepare to defend. It's a great place to build something from. And then you can always go out and implement in different countries around the world. So my mom wants me to take a picture of this um, poster that we just came across. So let me take a picture of it. So that's free marketing, I guess, for the company Dark Trace, whatever they do, world leading cyber AI. Oh, and that's the Changi control tower, I think. I just spotted it as well. That, I believe, is where air traffic control sits. And I've been looking at this for ages. Well, since I was a kid, basically, because I grew up here. So every time we go to the airport, we see that. And now, my mom has rushed on ahead. Again, this is turning out to be a wild goose chase. I mean, a chase, sorry, not a wild goose chase. Um, so yeah, we're just heading towards B10. You can see B7 in the background there. So I think B10 is the last one in this wing. And uh, wow, I just look, I just love gazing out at the open, open tarmac. And um, all the planes, it reminds me of huge countries, which by the way, Singapore is not. So things are quite close knit in the city. But past few days, me and my wife have been taking motorcycle rides to the outskirts where the borders of Singapore, where, you know, across the ocean would be, would be Malaysia. And there are some really nice open drives like you would have in Canada or I imagine the US. I've not been inside the US, just very close to the US border, like 600 meters because <laughs> we were driving around Canada, but we never really went in. But those kind of open roads, same as um, India, 
and Thailand and it does have some open roads if you go on the outskirts but if you're an immigrant and I imagine you're gonna be working here you probably don't have too much time other than the weekends to drive to the outskirts because you're probably going to be working in town I imagine unless you're in some kind of heavy industry uh, construction or something big like with big materials and big products like planes for example oops and um, then you might be on the outskirts but otherwise you're gonna be on the inside so Singapore is a rather close-knit place um, and uh, quite a dense population I also remember reading long back that it has the highest concentration of millionaires or something in the world I, I read that as a statement that was something like that okay guys so that's our plane um, I'm gonna go in and show you a few more shots of that plane alrighty hi mom say hi Hi. All right, we're heading in now. We just cleared the sort of immigration security thing. Let's see what's next. Hey guys, so this is the lounge where we're waiting before the flight starts. And I <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys a shot of the plane. So that's the plane. See you guys in Jakarta. So we're just walking into the plane. Hi, am I allowed to shoot this? Am I allowed to shoot my video? No, no, you, me, me, me. Okay, thanks. Hi, so we're just walking into the plane now. And uh, it's an it's a economy class. Uh, we don't want to go crazy and get business or first. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here we go. Uh, going in and I haven't been on a plane in two years. More than two years, I think. Quite a, quite a while, because we had a baby before COVID, so long time. All right, let's head in. Thank you. So this is the Singapore Airlines crew. Hi, hi. Hi, good morning. morning. Hello. Great ship. Do you want to check this? Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Hello. All right, guys, so we're sitting in the plane and we're just taxiing. We're about to be taking off soon. I'll try and see if I can get you guys some footage from the outside of the plane. Let's see if this works. That's Changi Airport. Alright guys, so that's it for now. That was a pretty nice takeoff. And uh, catch you guys later in the day from the Jakarta airport. Bye bye.
so the captain just told us that there was a misapproach and I was wondering why we climbed again because we went down and we climbed again. Um, so now we're going to go for a second approach and add another 10 minutes to the flight. So, talk to you soon. Welcome to Jakarta. Hey guys, so we just landed in Jakarta. Here's our luggage. That's my mom. <laughs> and so uh, we, we clear the customs pretty fast. That was uh, surprising, but then again, I've never been here, so it's not that surprising. My mom said sometimes it can take some time. So now we are heading out, very speedy process, very nice air condition in Jakarta's airport, very cold. Uh, coming from Singapore, it's very cold. Uh, so now we're going out, probably catch a cab and go home. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Yeah. So my mom's company uh, indented a driver. So it's helped us to carry the bags and all that. And now we are heading to uh, get a SIM card. All right, give me a second. Hey guys, so now we're in the car. Hi mom. We're going to, where are we going? To Kota Casablanca. Kota Casablanca. Aka Kukas. Uh, what? Kokas. Kokas. Sounds like a restaurant. Okay, so we're going to this uh, mall where my mom stays. Uh, yeah, and we're in the car and the scenery is very nice. Well, the air is quite bad. It's grey. <laughs> I don't believe that. So, so the air is grey, um, but I like the setup. It's like yeah, typical Indonesia, from what I remember, Bali, and this is what it's like near the airport. I'll tune in again for another, for more views. Uh, I mean, more views. I'm losing it. I'll tune in for more scenery closer to the to the mall. Okay, thanks and bye bye. Hey guys, so we're just arriving at the Kota Casablanca and there's a very nice small street here with uh, snacks leading up to it. Let me just show you. So this street reminds me of India a little bit and Thailand as well. Anyway, this whole area including India was all the same. Um, race of people like a few thousand years ago that's what i heard oh wow it's right in this oh here we are and so here's a condo 
So I just got out of the car. Let me show you the scenery here. So it's a really nice complex. The cars are driving in. Avalon Mirage. Sorry, I got it. Okay. Did you mean? Okay. Got it. Thank you. So here's the entrance to the condo. Wow. This place looks so peaceful. I'm just gonna meditate here all day. Really, really nice. All right, let's go in. And we're going in. So we're off to the 32nd floor. Hey, mom. Hi. How's it going? How do you like my new job as a YouTuber? Ah, great. It's full time, you know? Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we are. That's me, obviously. All right. So this is the entryway to the house. That's cool. It's got a nice uh, entryway like this. Wow. Oh my God. Now I know why my mom likes to come here. She's been living in bliss. Look at this. This is like a meditation house. Ooh, I'm going to launch my new course from here and maybe just live here and just be, do my life coaching for my clients from here because how can you leave a place like this? Check this out. Dang. Who had all this done? She has an exercise bike! Holy fuck! Oh my god, this is crazy. I can just jump out of the bed and go straight into exercise. Hey guys, so I'm down in the mall below uh, and we're having our first meal after getting off the plane. It's at uh, this place. It's called Rembolan, uh, Rembolan Indonesian Soul Food. So it's got this really nice vegetarian menu because I'm vegetarian. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So that's so many more things than Singapore. Now, Singapore hardly ever has vegetarian food and has this nice lovely walkthrough. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna join my mom on the table now. All right, I'll show you the food in a bit. So guys, I'm just looking at the menu and wow, I've never seen stuff like this in Singapore in my entire life. It's just, it's fascinating. Just, just, check, out the, just check out the drinks menu and dessert menu for a sec. So these are the desserts. Wow. All right. Okay. Holy crap. is just uh, out of this world. All a lot of breads over here. It's coming into jellies and things like that. Ice creams. Coffees and drinks. Um, I'm off coffee and tea, so I'm probably gonna get this next one over here. So this one, I'm getting this one. Coconut water infused with gula java, some kind of sugar, served with coconut meat. Fantastic. Yeah. My God, this is nuts. Look at it. Showing them the video. Mixed juice. Holy crap, I didn't even see that. Order, order, call her, call her. Oh, sorry. What are you drinking, you know? There you go. Yeah, I know. So here's some coconut water. And I have this syrup to mix in. Uh, Mom's having... What are you having? What are you having? This is uh, lime juice with salasi. With salasi? Yeah, and lemongrass. What is salasi? Is this those seeds, the chia seeds. Are you researching translations? 
Mm -hmm. She has to.